Well, it's another lovely day for Two Hacks Garage. Just heading down the road to my buddy's shop. These roads are actually pretty good compared to a lot of the other ones. Oh, we got a lot of work to do in the next few days. Weather hasn't been cooperating, but you're gonna see what we got going on. Later, guys. Drive by Jeff from Two Hacks Garage. Well, we got a third hack with us tonight. This is our buddy Eddie. We were the one, he was the one that let us allow his shop to be straightening the frame out as you guys saw last weekend. So tonight we're gonna start lining up body panels and fitment and all that. As you can see, some of the stuff in the front is not completely aligned along with back here. So stay tuned, we're gonna get it going. Eddie, you got any fine words for us? Uh, I mean, we'll get to it. I guess we'll try to work something out tonight, and then we'll figure out whether we can make something happen or, or not. We'll see. Eddie can work some magic. I've seen it before. I know I'll see it again. Yep, so it's uh, two hacks. We really should be three hacks. He's the guy to go to on paint and body, and we're going to get started working now. See ya. update what we got going on here these guys are measuring the body to where the frame goes on so this car had been wrecked at one point prior to Kyle having the car and when they did the body work they kind of did it around the bent frame we found that when we were trying to fit tires and wheels to the actual car and noticed everything was kicked to one side so we took it to Eddie's and he took care of it as you saw in that last video so now what we got going on is we're starting to measure stuff on where it is actually misaligned. Um, we did put new body mounts in before we did that. And the nice part about that was it was able to put witness marks on the frame of where it was sitting before. And now it shows us where we actually need to put it back into place. So as you can see here, the front end is not aligned with it. And also down here, the door also it isn't aligned along with the fenders. When we put the hood back on this car prior to taking it, we had new hood springs, new hood latch. It actually wasn't latching correctly and it was getting stuck no matter what you would put the actual latch position at. So we knew something was wrong. Um, on top of that, when we did put the new hood on with the springs, it would sit level in the back and not in the front. Going through a little bit of this, we had noticed here in the back, there was a lot of shims put into place actually on this body pan. Don't mind that bone stock overhead cam six there, by the way. Um, but long story short, so what we're kind of doing now is we're going through this and we're just measuring stuff up. Eddie and Kyle are just, you know, taking points. Uh, one good thing, I did do a video and we did discuss data books and any data, any information you can gather. I did find a guy, it was on eBay, it was an actual reproduction of like a frame layout with all the different mounts and holes and it showed correct measurements. We did use that when we did straighten the frame and originally when we were making points on the frame of where we thought it was bent, one method you can do is actually use a plumb bob and put little dots on the concrete below the car and start measuring from that. But you gotta make sure you have the car level as it would sit normally. Um, the long side of the frame is actually referred to as a datum line. That is really important when you do have something that's bent and something that isn't correct. Those lines are very crucial in how this body is actually gonna sit on the frame. So when you saw us last weekend at Eddie's shop, straightening that frame out, one of the things was is we kept on going back to the data line, datum line and measuring that. So right now we're just gonna take more measurements underneath here, kind of see where everything's at. And we're gonna start moving this body and moving panels into place where it needs to be. I know it looks like it's kind of a mess right now, but having a really good body guy that knows what he's doing can easily point out, hey, it isn't as bad, or hey, it's a lot worse. 
So far we're seeing it's not that bad. We just gotta get the body panels lined up and we do gotta get the body lined up. So it's gonna take a little muscle, but we're gonna get it. And I will just record this whole thing of the big green machine getting straightened out so we can actually get some wheels properly fitted on this thing. See you in a few. So one thing we found when we started getting stuff lined up, when we originally started working with this car and putting the hood on and everything, the fender always seemed like it sat high in which you can see that it does. So this got more progressively worse when we replaced the body bushings. But when you go down the body panel line after straighten stuff out, you can see underneath here how it's hitting here. That should never happen. It should be pushed out. We went ahead and took the lower trim off. And when we did that, you look right here you can see two holes one of them is the factory hole and one of them is an added hole that added hole is because when they put this back together things weren't aligned right and they just drilled to make the body panel actually fit correctly with the trim so when you go up top here and you look in that back corner where that spring is where my fingers at you can see shims those shims are pushing it forward and then in the back corner right there you see those shims, they raise it up. So when they did that, all they were doing was trying to get the body panels to match up to something that was bent and not correctly done. So Eddie, the master that he is at this, what he's doing is he's going through here and he's creating the proper gap and he's gonna shim that. So when we start lining body panels back up, it's gonna be correct. We'll be able to use the factory hole and it'll actually look right. More to come. All right, so here's a prime example of what we're working up against. Eddie's went ahead and pulled off the side trim. And if you look closely here, look how that panel is hitting the body. That's not supposed to happen. We find the same two holes, one factory, one added. And when you follow the body panel up, they hit. And once again, it's high on one side. And you go looking over here and there's a ton of shims. So we're gonna be doing both sides of this to get it corrected. And uh, yeah, just line up body panels. As you can see behind us, went ahead and took the fender off. Um, we ended up having to open the door. There's a real tight crease there, but what we're doing now is we're gonna get the body moved over. It's off by, what, Eddie, about quarter inch, half inch it's on one side. So we're gonna shift the body over to get these panels lined up to get the doors to open properly and get the fenders lined up correctly. So in order to do that, we went ahead and took the fender off, got everything loose in the front end so that moves around, and now we're just gonna be lining panels up. And one thing we did find, well, Eddie found, because he's the expert, when taking this stuff off, some shims were falling out. These shims were not factory shims. They were stuff that would be used in like an auto body place. And there was actually quite a few of them. So we know that this car, when it was at one point fixed, they fixed it, but they didn't fix it correctly. So we're gonna go back through and make sure everything's correct. Stay tuned.
we ended up doing was is we got the front lined up exactly with the frame and the body. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna tighten the body, the body mounts in the front. We have it centered 16th off a little bit, but we're gonna move it back into place. So what that's gonna allow us to do is we're gonna go ahead and get the front tightened up exactly where we want it. We'll align fenders to that, but before we do that, Eddie went ahead and took measurements in the back. As you saw in the last video, when we had it up there, we ended up stretching quite a bit of this back section here. And reason being is if you look behind me right there, our axle was actually kicked over. And what we did is we moved it into place. And when we got back and started measuring some stuff and getting all over, you know, making sure it was correct, which it was, um, we noticed that this body was kind of sitting a little bit cockeyed on the frame. And that was due to previous body work done to this car built around a bent frame. So now what we're doing is we're gonna tighten the front, we have the back loosened, and we're gonna move the back over to where it needs to be. And why we're doing that is we're taking measurements along the frame that we know is straight all the way down till we have it in the correct place. And what that's gonna allow us to do is if you look right here, these will be centered to the body panels and it'll be center in the transmission tunnel and everything will be correct. So what ended up happening was when we got the car back from Eddie's shop, we went ahead and we were gonna start mocking up, putting in a new transmission um, brace, you know, where it sits on there with a new mount and everything. It's an aftermarket piece, really heavy duty. We had to go with that because we ended up boxing this frame so it's a lot more sturdy. The 68 to 72 GM A bodies, the only ones that were actually boxed from the factory were the convertibles. So in order to make it a little more rigid, we went ahead and boxed the frame on this, which is gonna have us allow not to use the stock transmission brace on it, but an aftermarket one that's a lot more durable, a lot more sturdy with this car. So when we started doing that, we noticed everything was off. We called the expert, Eddie, right behind me over there doing some work. And he said, you know what guys, don't touch it. We'll come out, we'll get it all straightened out. So that's what we're doing getting the front end buttoned up on this, and we are gonna start getting the back end on this straightened out. Here we go. So what we did is we ended up getting the back all lined up. So now it's just a matter of tightening up the body bushings and all the body mounts and all that. Um, what we did do to kind of move, shift the body over is we took a little pressure off of it. We had to take it off the jack stands. We're not experts, we're hacks. So we did something ingenious. We used a come along against a boat frame. Actually worked out quite well. We only had to move it less than three quarters of an inch. So didn't, you know, we still have all our fingers, um, but you know, we're good. So we're just gonna get stuff tightened up back here and start working on the front. Progress is going good, see you in a minute. All right, so we got the body straight on there. So now we're just taking the car back up. And what we're gonna do now, since we got the body straight on the frame, I'm basically just in front of everything the... lines up correctly. We're gonna go ahead and oh, start wow. working on getting all the panel alignment through here. Um, as you can see, it's still off a little bit. So we got some shims that we're gonna have to take out, go down through here, and we're gonna keep this shimmed in place here. So the whole plan yeah. with this is, now that the body is straight, tightened up, bolted down, we can start playing with the fender geometry and get that straightened out. So once we have that straightened out, the doors open correctly, all the panel fitment will be correctly, not only at the bottom, but up here on top too. Um, this is going to play a lot into when we have to close the hood and have, you know, get that problem that we had previously fixed. And from there, it's just getting the nose cone back in place, getting all this wrapped up, and same thing with this other side. But now that we have this fender out, you can kind of come in here and see a couple things. So when you look inside here with this gap, with that, that's how much that body moved compared to where they had this in oh, yeah. place. Um, yeah. Back up in here, you can kind of see 
you know, some of the wear patterns up in here where the body was at, or the fender was actually hitting the body. That was all due to having stuff built around the car that had a bent frame when they did the body work. Um, here's one of the shims we found. There was a bunch of these in there. Those are not gonna go back in. We're gonna get this thing nice and straight. And from there, after that, we'll just have to start installing stuff back up in there. Um, start working more. See you soon. So we got the first fender done and got it all lined up. It's actually quite a bit. So when you're seeing kind of that time-lapse video we're doing, when it makes it look like we're just probably standing around doing nothing, we're actually making minor adjustments, taking shims out, aligning things back up, tightening, loosening, tightening, loosening, up, down, all over the place. Um, but as you saw before, how everything was rubbing, the gaps were really bad. Well, let me show you something here. It's actually pretty straight. Nice and uniform. It used to buckle up up there and it no longer does. It's even. You come down and it's even. Down at the bottom right in here, it was actually hitting and pushed in. It's actually even now. It's even with the lines. It's even up to here and also through here. It's pretty spot on. Did notice a couple things with that panel that kind of bowed a little bit, but we got it all straightened out. If you look behind me, look down, it's lined back up on this side. It's a lot of work. It's, well, it's not hard work, it's just a lot of work. It's very time consuming, but you know, the effort is worth it. Eddie is just an absolute genius with this. He really knows what he's doing. Um, we've been out here for quite a while doing this. We still got one more panel to go, and here we go. Got the body panel over here completed <clears throat> nice and even and as you can see before it was hitting right in here we got everything tightened up fixed through here so that's actually really good door opens it's level through here nothing's hitting anymore so what eddie is doing is i'm not really sure so eddie could you uh explain what we got going on here sure uh so in order to get this body no straight Basically, we're taking a dimension from a corner to another corner and trying to match the same dimensions on both ends, tying those up, and then that'll tell us what to do with the rest of it, the nose, the hood, and it's gonna get us close enough to where we can make minor adjustments and go from there. Perfect. Basically it. Awesome, and just a little bit here, guys. As you can see, it does have the stock overhead cam six cylinder in it. So Good. Uh, hook it up in there. We're going to get started gonna oh, you're gonna hook? Okay. Yeah. on getting this thing straightened out. As you can see, we were playing around with the front end a lot. We got panels lined up. And as you saw before, how bad it was actually off in here. We're actually getting that fine tuned. There's a lot of little adjustments in there. There's four bolts that go to the frame on sliders. And then up on top here, you got a lot of these on each side. And same thing within the inside. So we are gonna go ahead and take care of that now. And that will pretty much take care of the body panel alignment. 
And then from there, it's just putting the hood latch on and getting the hood on. Seeing a few. So there is going to be a part two to this. This is part one. Eddie, appreciate it, buddy. Thank you. Thank you for having me over. Uh, well done. Thank you for having me help over here. Uh, basically, we got it close enough that we, I feel good about it for next time. I think we can get it even better than what we have going on right now. I'm not promising anything perfect, but I'll improve it. I promise that. So with that, I'll leave you with Kyle. Final words, I am uh, really pleased with how far we got today. Um, you know, just getting the body on here straight was really all I was looking to do, and we've certainly gotten a lot further than that. So, um, looking forward to next time. See y'all then. Awesome. Hit like, hit subscribe, share our videos. We're on Instagram, 2 Hacks Garage. We'll see you for part two. Later. Later.